Hello my fellow YouTubians, this is Pool Shark Wizard, and today we are going to be doing a tutorial, a cool builds tutorial on the watermelon farm that I've showed before. So I'll show you guys how this thing works real quick. You just flick the lever there, all the watermelons pop off, and then you can go back and you can collect, you can collect them all. So I know you guys have uh, seen this before and I had a couple of requests to actually do a tutorial on it so we are gonna do a tutorial on this thing so um, when I do tutorials I usually do them in the creative world so guys hang tight and we will get over to the creative world and hope you guys enjoy this hang tight hey guys we are back and I've kind of uh, cleared out some area here and I've also prepped it a little tiny bit just to give you guys the uh, outside look of it so to start off we need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across. So seven across on the inside. And then uh, in the Let's Play world, I made this thing ten long. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So you want a seven by ten area. Um, now, if you're actually carving this into a hill, uh, you don't need to, if you're carving it into a wall, into a cave or something like that, you don't need to dig out this far one because we just need uh, this one spot open for water. So we'll just start out by throwing down the uh, water on this area. Alright, so on the outside in these seven slots or in the uh, out, outside slots here we're going to throw down water so let's go ahead and grab our bucket of water and let's just keep on filling this thing up so it's nice uh, standstill water seems to work the best oh whoops that didn't quite work out well did it that's an easy fix Boop. There we go. We should have steady water on both sides, which it looks like we do. All right, then the uh, next step is digging out two down on this side. On either side of the center here, we go down two spots. just like so now I know there's quite a few uh, tutorials out there on how to uh, create these things and for mine I just I just like this design it seems to work out I've seen some automatic uh, water ones and that sort of thing but uh, with, with mine this one suits my needs just fine so you guys can do whichever way you'd like to so we dug down those two blocks there now we're throwing down sticky pistons what the sticky pistons are gonna do and you want them pointing up what those are gonna do is those are gonna uh, pop up the dirt blocks so that way when you're harvesting it just uh, pops up the watermelon blocks or the watermelon and you can just uh, run back and collect it alright so we have that part done now what I usually do is take out the center one and like I said I've already prepped it a little bit so we can take this and on top of these sticky pistons we're gonna throw down more dirt blocks so right here I'm just gonna throw down one strip of redstone and the reason I did it this way is because you can it uses less resources well it uses less uh, less um, redstone anyways so We'll just go back here, and I think that's about right, yeah. Okay, so now we will take the dirt blocks, and we will throw the dirt blocks right up on top of the sticky pistons. Just like so. And I'm glad I'm glad you guys are liking my videos. Like I dig that, and I, I like getting the comments back and how I got the suggestion to that people would like to see this, and uh, for me that's just awesome. 
So keep those comments coming, guys. Uh, let me know what else you guys would like to see, and I can try to squeeze them in. Okay, so we have the redstone down. We're going to grab a, le a lever just to make sure that this thing uh, works correctly. And I usually go down, I think it's right here. Yeah. So right down here, I go down two blocks. I bring down the uh, block here and I think we can just we can just keep a block right there I think is that correct nope we'll throw a block right there so what that does for us is that makes it so when the redstone goes underneath and we flick the lever it will actually activate the redstone so let's grab a lever here right here we don't need the sticky pistons anymore so we can get rid of that and when we throw down this lever you can have the lever face in whichever way you'd like to um, I usually go on the sides like that but when you flick this all the pistons activate so you can see how these dirt blocks rose up and the watermelons will be all on here so when it uh, gets flicked up flicked up it can uh, it pops off all the watermelons. So from that point, what I do is I take half slabs. So you can do whatever type of half slab you like to. Um, I like the brick look, so I chose the brick just to uh, border the outsides of it. And I'm using the, um, the wood half slabs here. So that takes care of that part. All right, so now when you flick the lever, like so, you have a little bit of a walking area and usually um, when I'm collecting everything you know it's, it's all the way down so I can just walk on here and not have to worry about a thing okay so now the next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to till the land so we'll grab a uh, hoe here all right we, let's use a gold one just cuz we can so you just hole out both this land. Now the inside blocks, um, basically you could just hole the outside ones here because that was an update before uh, the watermelons actually had to grow on um, tilled land. But uh, we can do it this way. And I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to till it all out just so you guys can have an idea of uh, what it looks like. And the water should saturate everything like so all right now we're gonna throw down our um, uh, watermelon seeds so I think those are down here a ways and this works for pumpkins too so if you don't if you don't want to just have a watermelon on here you can actually you can have uh, pumpkins in here as well which is pretty cool so, um, but for this one, we're just doing a watermelon. Now the, what's the other part I need? Watermelon seeds and bone meal. And then here's the bone meal. And the reason I'm using the bone meal is because it, it basically has the watermelons grow instantly, the stalks anyways. So when you first plant them, you can see how uh, small they basically are like so but then once you throw the, the bone meal on them it grows the stalks uh, right away which is definitely cool and because there's only one spot open for these uh, to grow the inside spot that's where they're gonna happen so we'll go ahead and we will plant these other ones now of course you don't you know you don't have to build it all outside you can do it underground like I had it underground in my uh, Let's Play world. So that's totally your call which way you'd like to do it. And I didn't do I didn't do a diagram on this one because I don't think you really need to have a diagram. But if you guys would like a diagram, I could probably uh, make one of those too. Just let me know in the comments. All right, so once these are made like so, then I'm going to take uh, the bricks. And like I said, if you're, if you're cleaning this out inside a wall or something, 
you don't have to dig all this up here so if you imagine there's a hole we're inside a cavern and you're just digging a hole in the wall then uh, you could just you know carve out the bottom two and then just replace the right above the water with uh, any type of stone that you'd like to but I'm doing it with the brick because I like the way the brick looks so we'll run back here and we'll cover up all this water and I'm doing this for a reason uh, you could actually leave the water wide open if you'd like to but uh, for me I'm actually just going to do it uh, this way so we'll take um, we'll take some wood here and we'll throw all these down like so okay and then from that point uh, the reason I did it this way is because now we can throw down our uh, torches so you could use uh, glowstone if you'd like to um, but I'm I use torches because you don't have to go down the nether to get the torches but uh, it's of course it's up to your discretion again whichever way you'd like to and I usually when I'm lighting things up like like this I usually skip one space so um, it just it seems to be enough light you probably don't need that much light but it's the way that I do it so you can do it whichever way you'd like to so right there basically we have our foundation of how we want this thing to look and then the way that I have it set up we'll throw down some brick here also and the way I have it set up in the let's play world is I have chess so we'll try to find the chess here right there and I can show you guys that part so basically I just threw down two chests right in front just like so that way you can uh, you know it, it looks kinda cool and you can keep on building this uh, wall up in whichever manner you'd like to um, we might as well throw down another that's another one for good measure just to give you guys an idea um, actually I usually go too high in this area you don't necessarily have to but of course it's it's to your discretion how you want your design to look but mine uh, mine's just the uh, basics of how to build the watermelon farm walk up here there we go and you can uh, build the roof up above here too as well if you'd like to um, but this is pretty much the just the gist of it so um, let's get in the uh, let's take a nap quick just so it's daylight and I know I had people asking before what uh, seed I use for my um, tutorial world here uh, this seed is Mandalay Bay so if you just spell out Mandalay Bay one word that is this that's this seed and you know we had our uh, XP farming thing there last video I did was the bookshelf so not the last one but uh, the enchanting room but uh, for this now it's not completely full yet but it works basically the same way so you flick the lever right there all the watermelons pop up and you can just walk back and collect them all just like that so guys we can um end it here i suppose this is the uh, melon farm um leave me some comments let me know what you guys would like to see next uh if you guys would like to see a diagram on this i could try to do one but basically the just of it is it's three it's seven by ten so it's seven on the front and you go back one more block so you can have the water in there so then it's uh seven by 10 and that's it that's it so guys thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed this uh, cool builds and let me know what else you guys would like to see and have yourselves a great day bye